We are going to get <laughs> us into the contender or pretender segment of the show. We're going to go down the list. We're going to give you division races. We're going to talk about how many games back teams are. And we're going to discuss whether or not these teams have a shot at the playoffs and why. Brad, let's just start at the top. Okay. AL East. Baltimore is 34 and 20. They are six and four in their last 10. Second place in the division behind the Rays. And that is four games back. Are they contenders or pretenders? I think they're contenders. I think they've been steady enough for long enough that we can make them contenders. And the fact that they're only four games back of the Rays, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Side note, do you think they're the best team in baseball, Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay is the best team in baseball? Do you think they are, yes or no? Mm, That's tough. Because <laughs> they have the potential to be, um, but they have some warts. Um, that's tough. I, I don't know that the Orioles will ever, ever catch them, even though four games is not very many, right? Um, so far, uh, this is what I'll say. Will the Rays be the best team in baseball at the end? I don't think so. But will mm. they be the best regular season team? Probably. They, I think they're going to be the best. I think they are the best regular season team this year. Okay. What about you? I have an opinion on that. I think that I I think at this point, Atlanta is probably the best team in baseball mm. overall. I think it's close. I think it's really close between. Those I think Tampa two. Bay is is yeah the only other consideration right now. I need to see a little bit more consistency out of Atlanta for them to be yeah. the best team. Because they have stretches where you're just like, you lost to who? By how much? What? That's true. But like I know, like I said, I know the Rays gave up 20, but still that happens. But like they could hang 20 just as easily as they just more easily than they could give it up. Yeah. So I just think that the teams that they've faced. uh, Anyway, let's get on. Let's get on with it. Um, Let's talk about the Yankees. They are 32 and 23. 7-3 Seven three in their last ten. That puts them third place in the AL East. Six and a half games behind the Rays. Are they contenders or pretenders? If you'd asked me a week ago, I I would have said they're potentially pretenders, but I absolutely think they're contenders. I don't care. They give up little league home runs. Gaps happen in the field, um, but they came back and they put up seven the next inning. So. Yeah, no, I think the Yankees are absolutely contenders to make the playoffs. Uh, because caveat, like that's that's what this is a contender to make the playoff, not necessarily a contender yeah, for the yeah. World Series. We'll get there later uh, yeah. on another show, but for now, contenders to make the playoffs, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. AL Central, this one's really interesting. The Tigers are twenty five and twenty seven. They're five and five in their last ten. Puts them second place in the division, two games back. Is Detroit pretending? Or are they going to be contending? I don't know that they're necessarily even pretending. I think they're just in a fortuitous circumstance, right? They're just like, yeah, this division's bad. Okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> We're two games under yeah. 500. That also puts us two games back of the, of the division leader. So mm-hmm. let's just ride this thing, right? Let's ride this wave. I don't think they're necessarily anything. I don't think they're a contender. I don't think they're a pretender. I think they're just sitting in a good spot in their division is all, honestly. Well, like so I think they'll I, fall off and they won't be surprised. Yeah, that's how I feel too. But I think it's interesting <laughs> because now we have to talk about Cleveland's ball club like we did a minute ago. Yeah. But because they're 24 and 29, 4 and 6 in their last 10, third place in that same division and three and a half games behind the Twins. Are they pretenders or do you think they have a chance at the playoffs? So it, the, it's funny. It's funny because of that division because I don't I don't buy in on the Twins a ton, right? Right. So I've got to say that because Cleveland has the potential to catch the Twins, I've got to make them contenders despite panicking, right? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And saying, we need a bat. But the reason we need a bat is because we're contenders in the division. If they weren't contenders, if they were pretenders, then I would be like, nah, patience, whatever. You don't need to fill that spot. But because there's the potential is there to catch the Twins, absolutely. Like That's why I say they're contenders. 
in the division in the playoffs. No, they're not going anywhere, but in the division, certainly. Right. They're going to get to the playoffs. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Okay. AL hold on. West. Hold on. What about you, though, Brig? What do you think with the with Cleveland contender or pretender? Cle- Cleveland's contending. Yeah, they'll okay. make it to the playoffs. Right. I think that's how I feel. Okay. Thanks for catching me. I forgot about my having an opinion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the AL West is fascinating. In case you haven't been oh. paying attention, it is cuckoo for the proverbial cocoa puffs. Okay, <laughs> the Texas Rangers lead the division by three games right now. They're thirty-four and nineteen, and I didn't put them on here because, but I needed to. The Rangers are thirty-four and nineteen. Eight and two in their last 10. They lead the AL West. Are they contenders or is this a facade? <laughs> um, I want it to be a facade, like so bad, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, you do <laughs> so bad, but really, I don't feel like they've played a really tough schedule yet. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. I don't want to call them pretenders because they're winning the games they're supposed to, right? Indeed. Um, but at the same time, though, like, I, I, ugh, ugh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say contenders just because they're they're there, you know. Until they fall off, they they've got the best offense in baseball. Their pitching has been holding up its end of the bargain for the most part. Well, Nate Evaldi has been holding up his end of the bargain. Okay, right? Let's be yeah, yeah. They did drop two <laughs> or three to the Braves. Yeah, recently. Um, I don't they think took Nate two pitched of, any of those. They took two out of three from the Orioles, though. So, like, that's the thing. Is I'm going to say contenders just because they're there, and until they fall off, we have to. I think we have to include that team as contenders. I don't think they're going to fall off. You don't think so? Mm-mm. And I did not expect my prophecy to be fulfilled this early. I thought it right. would be next season. Yeah, I did. So I'm very excited. And they're doing it all without DeGrom, which is f- freaking crazy, but so fun. It is. It's fun. Yeah. It's a good day to be a Texas Rangers fan right now. Okay, let's move yeah. down because the Astros are a big question mark in a lot of people's minds. Not so much in others. The Astros sit at 31 and 22, 7 and 3 in their last 10. They're number two in the division, three games behind the Rangers. Do you think they're pretending or are they going to contend? This one is equally as hard because we talked last year about the issues the Astros had. They were they were fortunate that those issues didn't cause major problems. Those issues are causing major problems this year, that they don't get a lot of guys on base. They don't get a lot of hits. They rely a whole lot on the home run. They live, they play in a stadium where that's fine. Right. Yeah. Today though, despite a Jose Altuve grand slam late in the game, they ended up losing an extra innings. Right. To a team that they should have beat. And they're 14 and 12 at home. So even when they're hitting bombs at home, they're barely above 500 at home. Yeah. They play yeah, better I would have, away. I would have thought that the Astros would be better. Like 7-3 and three in their last 10 is really good, but I still would have thought they had a better May than they did. Um, I can't say pretenders, though, because of the defending champs. You've got to keep yeah. them as contenders, especially at 31-22. and 22. They yeah, won like yeah, 10 yeah. games in a row a couple weeks ago. So Yeah. No, I think they're for real. Um I don't know how deep into the playoffs they would end up, but I think they're going to make it to the playoffs. Well, and the thing too, like I honestly like they're going to contend for the division. They're going to contend for a playoff spot, but I wouldn't be surprised if, like I said, that that ugly thing that they can't do reared its head at the end of the season because teams had them figured out because that's kind of where it's headed. I agree with you. Um, Now we got to talk about Seattle really quick. Do you think they're contending or pretending? I have to say contending just because I know the potential for this team. Like, okay. and it, it's obviously a very, it's a homer pick. I understand that, but yeah, I know the potential for this team. I know who they have and what they have. Um, Got to make a move for one guy, but I think they're contenders for the division for sure. Oh, definitely six a wild games, card spot. Six games back right now. Okay, yeah. let's move over to the National League. <clears throat> Starting in the East, let's talk about the Marlins. We already did a little bit, but they're twenty eight. And 26, five and five in their last 10, second place in the division and four games behind the Braves. 
Are they contending or pretending? They're pretending. They got a lot of firepower. They'll hit a lot of home runs, but their pitching is not good. They have a couple yeah. of good pitchers, but over like their their bullpen's not good. Yeah. 100% agree with you. They're totally pretending. But the New York Mets are exactly 500 right now. They're sitting at 27 and 27, 6 and 4 in their last 10. Third place, five games behind the Braves. Are they pretenders or do you think they'll contend for a playoff spot? I got to say that they'll contend. Like it's it's just a talent thing, right? They have to. They have to contend because I don't see them because the only other option to me is that they're pretenders, you blow it up. Right. Tear it all down at the at the trade deadline. I don't see that happening. So they've got to contend. They've got to be contenders. Okay, so if the Marlins are faking it and the Mets are all but deserving of at least a contention vote, then what does that mean for the Phillies? Because the Phillies are 25 and 28, five and five in their last 10. This puts them in fourth place. They're six and a half games behind the Braves. So the way the Phillies are playing, you can't call them contenders, right? No, I don't feel like I, can't. I can't call them a contender right now. I don't even feel like they're, you can call them a pretender right now because they're not pretending to be anything, but maybe bad. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if they're pretending to be bad, does that make them a contender? I don't know. I don't know. It's a manic. They're not even at 500 right now. No, no. Do I think they'll contend later? They ought to. They, well, they, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Is that our big question mark goose egg for I think the, that's for the big, segment? I think that's our big question mark. For that's our, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The National League Central's fascinating Pittsburgh 26 and 27. They're three and seven in their last 10. Second place, two games back. That's behind the Brew Crew, mm -hmm. who might also be pretending. We don't know. But do you think Pittsburgh is pretending or contending? I, I'm going to stay with contenders with them just because of the division that they're in. They hit a rough patch. That happens. Everybody's going to hit one. It's better to hit it in May than to hit it in yeah. August or September. So I'm. They got it. It's a good team. It's a good team. Yeah. Despite every, I mean, this is the thing that I've decided is that Rich Hill for some reason needs to pitch at night. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh I don't yeah. Know if he needs to like go watch Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune before he goes out there. If, like, that's a thing. But, Get but his wheat grass shot. Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> yeah, he's better at night than he is during the day. But he's been yeah. really good. He's been pretty good for them despite I being agree. over the hill. Um. Okay. So we know the Brewers basically you could make the same argument for the Brew Crew. But what does that mean for Cincinnati? Because they're in third place right now and they're only four games back. Five and five in their last ten. They're twenty four and twenty nine, which is terrible. But as far as the division goes in the NL Central, it's serviceable at this point. It is. Serviceable. And how is that possible? They just swept the Cubs, by the way. I know. Um, I know. They're pretenders, though. They're not going to win anything. Like they might even like. I saw that they might be shopping Jonathan India. Whoa, seriously? That's what the Twitterverse is saying. I don't know if it's true because I wouldn't be if I were them. But if I'm Seattle, I'm giving them pretty much whatever they want for him because you need a second baseman. Yeah. Because wow. I love me some Jonathan India. <laughs> Dude's <laughs> awesome. Dude is great. Yeah. Okay, yep. let's talk to the NL West. This is this is to me, this is the most fascinating thing in the world. Because somehow the Dodgers are only one game up. The D-backs are in second place in the National League West. S Hold on. Taylor Duke, listen to me. The D-backs are in second place behind the Dodgers, trailing by a game. One, I know it's May, but one game, okay? They are 31-23. and 23, but They are 6-4 and four in their last 10. Brad, are these guys faking it, or do you think they're actually going to go to the playoffs? That's tough, man. It's tough because so the late the last little stretch that they've had where they've been playing really good ball. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. had like a 16 game hit streak that just yeah. got broken a couple days ago. Um, one thing I think that the Diamondbacks are really good at is beating teams they're supposed to. They have a hard time beating the teams above them. Mm -hmm. um, so. 
Will they contend for a wild card spot? Yes. Will they contend for the division? No. Are they pretenders? No. I'm not going to say they're pretenders. Like they've got they've got talent. We said be, at the beginning of the season that team has got talent. We just didn't think that they would hit this year, right? We were like, oh, they'll yeah. be pests. They'll be 500 team. But no, that talent yeah. has clicked already, and I I think they'll contend for a wild card spot. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. And this is the exuberant face I have to bring to the party. <laughs> like I just. It's really cool. And you know what? I'm excited to have good baseball played in town because I, in the offseason, I was like, I want them to be bad because it'll be easy to get tickets. But no, yeah. I'm going to get to go watch <laughs> really good baseball when I go to games this summer. So yeah. I'm excited for that. It'll be fun. It's true. As long as your gold glove uh, caliber players don't get ejected for celebrating umpires making great calls, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So my, fa- and this has happened a lot, and we're going to wrap it up in a minute. But my favorite thing about all of this game that we play is the implications for everyone else, right? The Padres get a ton of juice from the media and from major league baseball and from their fan base. That's super active and it's wonderful. The giants are kind of quiet, but the giants are like three, three games above the freaking Padres right now. The giants are in third place. They're only four games behind the Dodgers at 28 and 26, seven and three in their last 10. I think they're faking it. I think they're pretending. I think the best thing they have going for him is Gabe Kapler, and he should not be doing much beyond being some sort of like cover model of something, but he's really good at that. I don't know what else he's good at. (laughs) I saw this TikTok the other day. It was so funny. It was a woman explaining dugouts. She said she was, I think I said it to you. She was like, the dugouts have steel poles and they're wrapped in padding and that's to protect and they the like to stand up at the top and they can they, come out and they can talk <laughs> they can like, cover. sit down in the shade where they can hang out with their friends <laughs> but it was every picture was this like smoldering view of Gabe Kapler <laughs> well, I think at one point she said too she's like and you can smolder mm. yeah she did <laughs> I really do think that that is the best thing they got going on in yeah. San Francisco. I think they're fake. Yeah, they're pretenders. They don't have – I don't think they have the talent to stick around in that division. Um, it's – they what they've done so far has been a surprise. I'll give them that. But True. Yeah. Because of that, they're pretending. Okay, right. so then the, the, the immediate implication is San Diego, right? They're seven right. and a half games back. 24 and 29 with as much talent as anybody uh, as big a payroll as anybody. And they've got every expectation in the world and they're squandering it right now. They're four and six in their last 10. They're not even at 500. Are they faking it, Brad? What's going on in San Diego? Well, it's like, who was it? I said this about the Phillies. They're not contending. The only, if, if they're pretending, the only thing they're pretending to be is bad. Yeah. Like, you know, and for their sake, I hope that's what it is, pretending to be bad because I do too. they've been that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree with you. So the deficit anyway, is not insurmountable, though. No, if no, it no. Clicks, if it clicks, they'll come roaring back. Oh, yeah. And it'll be ugly for everybody I else. Everybody in the way. Yep. 